there is a video I'd like to make to tell you, well, basically a little bit about history. And we're going to use the Arclinix D ISO. What people probably won't know or have forgotten, meantime, right, is that the Arclinix D ISO was created after the XL, and the XL contains a lot of stuff. And I said, we don't want that. We want something that's minimal, that's um, just bare, like Arch Linux, right? So then we thought, okay, Calamaris is the step or a step up or an easy way to get things done because it's graphical. You boot in something uh, visual, you can click things. And Arch is really the black screen and it really is from some people just a step too far away from their world and say, okay, well, how in earth should I get an operating system on my machine with a black screen, right? So Calamaris is there to help us, but then the idea was, let's give the user nothing, right? You boot up, you reboot and you have a black screen and then you're in control. But there are already things happening. I mean, that you've chosen X4, you've chosen all kinds of things and the software, it's up to you. The LightDM, SDM, desktop, it's all up to you, right? So that's the th topic of the video. We did not have the knowledge back then of Calamars, of the net install module, where you can say I want Firefox, I want Vivaldi, I want DK, I want DWM, and so on. Click, 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 done, right? This button did not exist. We had just Arclix D, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like because has been a while since I've, I've made a video about it and it has its merits. It means you use something graphical, but when you boot up, you end up in something black, all right? So next, erase disk, X4. This is the very, very bare, more, most bare form that we can provide as Arclix. Next stop is just, um, well, I would say a riser or arch, right? Both of them are bare. So there you go, we let this machine do its work and we'll see what we get. And then we reboot. So we have graphical phase in the beginning, GUI. And then when you reboot and you've done the bare or the base installation or the minimal installation, whatever you want to call it, you don't have squat, right? You don't have nothing. So yes, there is a user, thank God, and there's a password. And you update, then you see some stuff. Oh, look at that! Already updates. Go for it, my friends. I see make init CPIO, which means I will reboot. Reflexes, system D, Linux kernel, system. These lines, if you see run, running build hook, right? Reboot and see if everything, if everything is fine. There's a VD, this DV console thing. That's a problem, it seems. There's the range. And I'm typing strange. Reboot. Yeah, with something new, right? If they add code, change packages, we'll see the effect. So we don't have, let's see what we do have. We get this. Let's count them again. One, two, three, six, nine. 10, 11. So 11 packages, wallpapers, not important. System D services at the moment is empty. SDM simplicity is how you are greeted, but SDM is not present. Eh? Paru, NeoFetch is there, mirrorless key rings, the grub to have something nice. Welcome up. Mm -hmm. System config, that's important. And a la gritty settings, because we like to have our own settings for the thing. So that's it, all the rest is harsh. Right, all the rest is harsh. There's nothing from the rest. Calamars is there. These are all the E stuff we can remove. These are all the A stuff we can remove, and so on. It's all about pure arch. There is Bibata cursor theme, right? Choices, bash completion, choices, bad, another choice, right? It will be filled with our choices, obviously. But if you go to uh, arclinxb.com, and you decide to change elements on the DISO, voila, you've got your own personalized DISO. That's the point. 
Now, why would you do this? Because you want to have control. Now we have a minimal thing. We do have, that's important, minus remove x, right? There is x org already. If you follow the arglinuxd.com phase seven, how to install Arch Linux, you'll see that we're now in phase two. There is already a user, there is already x org, but there is no desktop. There's also no greeting. I mean by that, there is no SEDM. So, first of all, let's get SEDM in. You saw that uh, <coughs> the theme is there. SEDM simplicity, so cool, we have our theme. That's cool. What's next? What do you want behind it? You can steep, again, you can keep on typing and you know or know, do not know them, but this is something I have typed too much, right? That's it, you got yourself XFCE, as simple as that. There is a mate, there is deeping, deeping extra of what, what isn't there. Now, that's just go ahead and install stuff. But if you've done your work and you have a GitHub somewhere or Git bucket or uh, anything like that, GitLab, then you say Git clone. You get your code in, the scripts you want to install, the files you want to have, the packages that are on there, I don't know, right? It's, it's sky's the limit, I would say. Just go grab it. Now, this in this case, I don't have to go to Eric Dubois. In this case, we have something. We used to promote the D before we had the BI, so before, eh? in six years, a lot can, uh, can happen. So this was phase, well, let's say two or something like that. I don't know. First was XL, then came the D and later came the XSs and later the Bs, right? So the D was meant to run via scripts. If I maybe fitting, if I want to install the new tiling window manager, Arco DK, I just get scripts and we're still maintaining those scripts, right? Although the first thing I do is build an ISO rather than use D and get scripts. But they're there, right? So CD, Arco, GK, you can use them. And it says how to install the display manager. That's the one I want, right? SEDM is now already installed, but we'll just skip and say, it's there, fine, don't do anything. And later on, development software have a look what's in there the sound is there bluetooth is there the printers the sound the laptop stuff network discovery software from arch stuff from agonix and so on right run whatever script you like to run change the script you like to change so dk is going to be installed not only dk the simple X or hotkey daemon is there rofi is there rofi themes is there nerd fonts is there Take a look what's in there and you see we've activated something you need to remember created symlink etc system d which is basically pseudo system ctl and then enable sdm or you type it or you put it in a script right okay and then we reboot Control c reboot and this is another way of installing stuff use arclinks d you get yourself a pair Arch Linux system, basically, plus 11 packages. And then you do your thing. You get your script, your own GitHub URL, and you run it. You're greeted by our beautiful theme. SEDM is there to wait for you. And here you go. And it's still a lot of Sherlock Holmes stories because you saw the white thing. Normally it's black thing. How do we make it black? Maybe I should install some themes and some icons and where's the wallpaper it's there but where's variety it's not installed so it goes on and on and on and that's the fun learning bit by bit uh, what is it available for instance velo which is part of development right velo development there's also a dev thing but voila because of the Velo, I have installed lots of stuff that I need always. And he's not doing the job right. So right mouse click, open with. Hey, oh, there he is. Sublime text. There you go. This is a function. So install it. And this is what we install. SDM, Thunor is here, Thunor Volman. 
and decay is here, phase here, polybar is here, otherwise I wouldn't have anything. But Discord is not installed, Telegram is not installed, Minstick is not installed, Firefox is not installed. Beautiful icons, they point to a application that's not there, right? Change background, is that working? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, it's working fine. Okay. Is anything transparent? No, it's not. So pseudo pacman minus s. So either you put everything, all your knowledge in a script so that the script can do its thing, or you say, I'll type it, right? Each and every single time I install the stuff, I will type, which is fun if you love a lot of time, but scripting is also a lot of fun and start with it. Say, okay, I'm gonna make my own little GitHub with all the personalized stuff um, and, and have a look. And if you wanna go that way, remember there is the get nemesis on articleX. What happened, you get this, change this, right? I can run this particular thing and it will create all kinds of things, it will do all kinds of things. And you change it. Do you want to install CHADWM in your system? I'm a fan, right? So yes, go. Install it on top of DK. I want to remove stuff. I say remove this, remove that, but this is a bare stuff, bare, bare thing. So it's not there. Cool. But this goes away. I don't have Broadcom on my machine. Certainly not on VirtualBox, all right? Don't have this either. And it goes and it does its job. I go eat, I drink a coffee, I go for a walk, I come back. The system is fine-tuned to the, the smallest level because all the personal stuff I want as well, very, very personal things like, I don't know, fish and cinnamon settings, whatever kind of setting I want, it's gonna be overwritten. It's as simple as saying, copy this, do there. That's all, copy this, do there. And then you have it, you reboot, and the system is yours, you've created it. All right, enjoy Arclix D, enjoy Arclix.